I have dissected a multitude of bodies. Strictly speaking, 363 in total. Most unnatural deaths. Some homicides even seem to be suicides at a glance. A negligent mistake could lead to the escape of the culprits. The ones that need the most scrutiny are hanging deaths. There are no signs of manhandling to be reckoned with. The subject was seen leaning on a chair, his head tilted towards the left, his left hand grasping the chair's arm, and the pistol held tight in his right hand. The anatomy of different bodies are different. All the internal organs were healthy. No symptoms of major illness. Vital signs show that he was hypertensed. He was intoxicated with alcohol even just before the time of death. Interpreting the results of alcohol in the abdominal cavity. The depth of the wound indicates a two millimeter caliber. A typical small caliber, a single gunshot wound on the head. The entrance point is in the right temple. Metallic fragments track posteriorly and superiorly. There is minimal calvarial damage indicating the small caliber of the weapon. A clean case of suicide. surrender to death while pulling the trigger against his right temple. He might have chosen the Italian-made Beretta 92FS semi-automatic pistol only to ensure death on the spot. The most favorite weapon of the Italian army during the Nazi era. I have grasped the meaning of homo sapiens as wise men. There are no other species as intelligent and well-developed as humans. It is believed that the brain is the epicenter of wisdom and imprudence too. That could be the reason why he would have destroyed only the brain without damaging any other parts of the body. Man uses the brain and mind at the same time to think. <laughs> it is indeed a game. Mind versus brain. Often the brain wins. Mostly, the emotions deliberately surrender. And the ultimate victory is for selfish interests. For that invisible dilemma. The mind is the manifestations of thought perceptions, and emotion.
breaking news for you. Renowned forensic surgeon Dr. Sudarshan found dead in a hotel room. It's suspected to be a suicide. Relatives reported that he was under intense mental depression for the past few days and there are no discrepancies in the death. He was living separately from his wife and has two daughters of 11 and 14. He was recently accused of submitting supportive reports in favor of the culprits of many controversial cases. I'm joined by Sebastian Williams, our Asian editor. Sebastian, first, what are you hearing?